Shay, Shay, Shay. She stays at the Hopkins Estate, State, State, to help out a lady named Kate, 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 who has to go away to take a care of her sick mother. So it's up to Shay, Shay, Shay. She has been around for a long time, 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 and they get funny when she's mad, mad, mad. But is it all in her head or is she Shay Shay? Will she save the day? It's up to Shay. Oracle streaming now on Max. Used to be HBO Max, but now it is just Max. They took up the HBO, the recognizable part for some reason. It has nothing to do with this movie though. This was directed by Daniel DeGrado, who's done television, shorts, as well as some movies. Check out his IMDb page for the full listen of his work. Written by three different people. Corey Harrell, who did Meet the Blacks 2. Jamie Permac Sullivan, who did Beast. You know, the movie that was marketed as Idris Elba punching out a lion. One of two movies that Idris Elba had in August of 2022. God, that seems so long ago, and it really wasn't. <laughs> 3,000 Years of Longing. Both those movies were out of theaters really goddamn quickly. Speaking of Idris Elba... Nowhere near this goddamn movie. Heather Graham is, though, but before I get to Heather Graham, and boy, would I like to get to Heather Graham. Nevertheless, Michael Arlen Ross, not to be confused with Bob Ross, entirely different lines of work. No happy little trees, not even in Teresa's. Teresa's and the Ruins are two horror movies from the later 2000s that I feel don't get nearly enough love, even though Teresa's, ooh, boy, it was kind of mean-spirited, wasn't it? That being said, memorable. Maybe not for all the right reasons, but nevertheless, Heather Graham plays Kate who owns Hopkins Estate. It's been in her family for generations. <laughs> Used to be a plantation. So a lot of ghosts of the past and a lot of atrocities took place on this particular land and in that house. And that stuff should never be forgotten about. Restitution, all that stuff should be made because no human beings deserve to be treated like that. Absolutely horrifying. Good backdrop for, you know, as far as uh, subject matter and everything. Kind of reminded me of Antebellum, except Antebellum was absolute goddamn dog shit. Holy oh. <laughs> Woo! That being said, Antebellum <coughs> and this movie are entirely different. Because Antebellum got quite a marketing campaign. This was literally just dumped on Max. Either today, as I'm recording this, on Halloween, or within the past couple days. And I think it was just today, just in time for Halloween. But by the time you see this, you might not you know, see this before Halloween is over. Also, happy Halloween. So, <coughs> Ryan Destiny plays Shay. She's a struggling college student. She has a roommate, Jasmine, Ariel Martin, not Ariel Winter, um, not to be confused with her, but yeah, Jasmine watches horror movies, and then she gets high, and then she gets high, and then she gets high, and they're roommates, they're fun gals, we, we know this because they briefly discuss their history, kinda, maybe, sorta. Shay ends up uh, taking a job helping Kate at the Hopkins Estate. And then let's just say things don't really go all that well because the kids are obviously creepy, very, very creepy. And even though every red flag is going up and in flashing neon signs and basically on fire telling her not to go here, she decides to go there because she feels drawn to this place. And then let's just say weird, creepy, ghostly shit happens. And that's pretty much it for the non-spoiler edition of this particular plot. I will say right now that while I appreciate the cast for doing their best wasn't a very big cast. <laughs> I mean, really, it's Ryan Destiny, Heather Graham, Ariel Martin, there's Patrick, Samuel, Isaiah, Hunter, who is fine. He's uh, in a supporting role. He ha he drives. He's kind of like an Uber guy, I guess, driving Shay to and from this particular place. <laughs> Heather Graham, by the way, is 53 this year and looks fucking great. She looks half that. Great genetics on her. She's going to be a suitable flesh coming up soon. And this movie, apparently, according to the end credits, which this isn't a spoiler, it said uh, Universal Studios 2021. So apparently this film has sat on the shelf for two years, even though it got a release. According to IMDb, I think it got a release earlier this month. So And then it just got shoved out on Mac. So I assume maybe it was maybe in a few theaters. Maybe it was <clears throat> you could only find it on microfiche. I don't goddamn know. But yeah, just got shoved onto Max. I'd never heard of this goddamn movie. Decided to fire it up. Okay, so how is it? It's fucking rotten. It's really, really rotten. The story is simplistic, yet entirely incomprehensible. 
You could tell the three people wrote this goddamn movie because there are neat little ideas. There are things that could work. They don't let any of this play out. Character motivations just go completely out the goddamn window. People will end up getting hurt, yet somehow okay. One person gets hurt through very stupid means. It's absolutely hilarious. There are a few hilarious moments in this, but unfortunately this movie just doesn't end up working out all that well. There is this one funny line. What am I doing in this strange house? Because this is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. This is not my beautiful life. My God, what have I done? And as the days go by. So we basically are just going to bring on the producer here again because you, you actually sat and watched some of this and you didn't understand why she didn't just leave the house. Basically, Shay is talking to Blair. She's also talking to <clears throat> Chase and Andrew. Chase and Andrew are the two sons. And Blair is the daughter, and things are going weird. She feels a connection to Blair, who, it turns out, has had her own loss. And no child should have to suffer loss like that. Adopt, don't shop, by the way. Adopt, don't shop. Hi. Are you going to say anything? You like Anagram? I should just do the review like this, and well, I don't want to scream in his ears. Anyway. Let me just lay him down right there. He's going to have to get treats after the... Oh, God, he's just looking at me all kinds of pissed off right now. All right. Yeah, this um, this movie just ends up being a just convoluted sim but simplistic mess. I mean, things that you're like, okay, people are seeing... You know, certain things are going on, certain ghost things are going on. It's just this movie was absolutely just terrible. I mean, it is... I'm not saying don't check it out. You might feel differently. There's a good idea here about the ghosts of, you know, inhumane crimes haunting this particular land and something, you know, bad that did happen and somebody that decided to perpetrate all this stuff. But the problem is it's wrapped up in a story that is so <coughs> jumbled and messy that you don't care about really any of the impactful stuff that could, you know, actually rise to the goddamn surface. So yeah, Oracle, I don't even know why it's called Oracle, honestly. I don't even think the movie knows why it's called Oracle. <sighs> yeah, this isn't good. It's on Max if you want to check it out. Heather Graham looks fucking incredible, by the way. Can't wait for Suitable Flesh. Suitable Flesh is not out yet. Anyway, three, two, one. Spoilers. Okay. So, um... We get some nightmares, uh, badly edited, by the way, slam us right into that stuff. Um, Shay and Jasmine struggling financially. I do say Ariel Martin actually has a pretty good look. I could see her rising up in horror movies. The girl who plays Shay, she's not bad. She's not bad. She tries her best here. Um, <clears throat> racism talk. It, it was. They said something about Atlanta, I think, so this was filmed somewhere in Georgia, I assume, or the surrounding areas. Um, after a brief introduction, Shay isn't sure she wants to take that. Jasmine basically tells her it's a really, really bad idea. <clears throat> and Blair is the young daughter that Shay talks to, seems to have a connection with. And then there's a branding iron that's used at one point because plantation, because why not? <laughs> Shay feels drawn to this place. She ends up going back to it because, um... You know, Heather Graham calls her in the middle of the night. I wish she'd call me in the middle of the night, but I'd have to be rich. Anyway, 500 bucks, please come stay with the kids while I go take care of my sick mother. That we never see, by the way, but apparently she was at the hospital in one particular scene, so I guess, unless she was just taking a break there for the hospital food. They have such a great bland buffet there. <laughs> and, yeah, the power snaps on and off. We see ghosts all around the goddamn place. Um, creepy drawings from the kids. Chase believes that Shay is insane, in Shane, as it were. And there's a few parts where, like, um, Kate makes them wash their hands in really, really hot water. And Blair basically says, she told me to clean myself. She told me to wash every bit of it uh, off. Wash every bit of what? You. Because it turns out, by the way, I'm just going to spoil it. Blair's dead. Blair's dead. Um, just in case you didn't quite figure that out. Because the boys never interact with her. And nobody noticed this. Nobody, by which I mean Shay. <laughs> she left her keys in Patrick's car, so Patrick decides to go back and get her. Um, and then there's Mama Lou, Baby Love, Shortening, Shortening. And <laughs> boy, you see, read up about the history of that particular song. Yeah. And then... 
Shay tries to break out. She manages to break a window despite the fact she's allegedly trapped there. Patrick shows up and a shard of glass uh, goes right through his neck, which is funny. It was funny to me just because it was so badly done. Special effects are dog shit. And I know this probably has a small budget, but the lighting is terrible. <clears throat> it turns out that Jasmine did a little bit of research just straight out of Get Out where there's this lady that did really, really bad shit, um, you know, and killed a bunch of slaves and then eventually got... Um, you know, taken over by these people that she should not have kept as human slaves. Pretty goddamn terrible. Uh, Jasmine shows up, and then we get a spinny camera thing with uh, Shay and Blair. Blair is talking to the children at this point because she's absolutely goddamn just off her fucking tits. Chase believes she's insane. Andrew says, I see things too, or whatever. So Chase evidently doesn't. Um, there's a point where Jasmine's there. Shay sees the ghost and runs with a sharp object and stabs Jasmine in the gut. Keep that in mind. Shoves her outside so she can be safe because she's trapped in this house. And then she's talking to Blair, this ghost. And then the ghost of the mother shows up and won't let her leave. Also, it turns out that, um, Blair had a best friend that... Abigail, that Shay apparently is a descendant of, I, I guess, because movie? And then, so, well, Jasmine's bleeding out on the goddamn porch. Patrick's dead. Um, she has to basically find a way to escape, and she goes with Blair and tries to jump out the goddamn door, and she sort of does. The kids are outside. Heather has called by this point while she's in the basement, and or Shay is and says I don't have a daughter and oh my god it turns out that Blair's dead we get flashbacks we get other bullshit of the nutty mother running through the house with a gun and then the ghost is going to kill Shay but then the slave the slave ghost pull her back there's this iron maiden helmet thing that she puts on um the ghostly mother and Jasmine apparently is fine despite being gut stabbed Yeah, that's it. Had to make sure that went to goddamn trash. I am never watching this again. Watch it. Your mileage may vary, but maybe it, maybe there was a, a good movie in here and it just got badly edited. But this was 85 minutes and felt like it took forever. Simplistic, incomprehensible. That's a tough combo. Yeah, it gets an F. I'm sorry. It gets an F. Sorry. Gotta call it like I see it. Agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rimplin. I'll see you soon.